Good morning, guys. This is uh, the first day of Michigan early doe season. And I know you guys have been seeing me smack does almost all year long, but this is a season that Michigan has. It's only two days, so you bet your ass we're going to go out there and see if we can get one down. Um, I started a poll last night, and I mean, yeah, it was kind of late, but so far in the lead is the AEA Zeus. 72 cal with the 16 inch barrel this gun is putting out over 500 foot pounds of energy using cast slugs that i make um there are 100 480 grain slugs and they're they haven't let me down yet um this gun is also featuring a muzzle brake that a lot of people have asked me about I didn't want to release information out right away because this is still a prototype. But so far it is working awesome as it does reduce the recoil. I have had better accuracy. So far I've only done 50 yards, but I've had hole in hole accuracy, which I mean, this gun wasn't terrible with accuracy before. But it does help because you're not getting that jerk back and moving as much. I'm not going to say it takes it all away, but it does reduce it. I'm going to post a little clip and show you guys because I didn't upload it to YouTube. I only put it on Facebook groups and Instagram. But I'll show you and you can see in the slow motion the gas ring that comes out around this. And it's literally moving the leaves that are next to me in the spot we're at right now. So I'll go ahead and show you that. I mean, you can see, boom. I mean, you can see that gas coming out the sides of this thing. But you can also see me bounce back a little bit. So at 4,000 PSI, there is still a little bit. Your second shot, because I only say this is a two-shot gun, that kick is next to nothing. But anyway, this was made by Lucky Air Gun Ammo, or Lucky 7 Air Gun Ammo. I requested one of these just because I don't really care for this gun to have a suppressor on it. It's big, it's loud, it's awesome, and even with a suppressor, you're only going to knock it down a little bit, and it's going to add 14 inches to it. I don't want that. I wanted this thing to be small, cool looking, knock deer down, and blow shit out of the way. That's what I got. But, as for right now, this is still a prototype. I don't know when he will have mass production of these these are all handmade by him on a lathe so don't expect it to be something that you're just going to order and get next day um all the the tools for this i mean he had to order it in to specially make something this big uh, we are going to start working on one for the 58 caliber so we're come that should be next but i wanted it for this gun because this gun is I mean, look at it. It is a powerhouse, awesome gun. And anything you can do to get some of that recoil down and a little bit more accuracy, I'm going to do it. I don't know what he's going to charge for these, and I don't want to say a number, and then everybody get mad. So, But as for right now, still prototype, still testing, will be available soon. So don't go blowing up his email and stuff. Say, hey, can I get that? Get your can. Not yet, but soon. But anyway, we're going to do a couple 50-yard shots just to make sure we're on par for tonight. Um, I did bring my M50 just in case because that is a runner-up in the poll as of right now. But we're just going to do a short video of this. And then tonight, we're going to go out. See if we can put a doe down. I have a Tacticam set up down there. It's set to slow motion. 
So I'm hoping we can catch some of that impact coming in on that steel plate. The steel plate I have is a heart and lung target that I made at work. I don't have it set biologically correct because I just put it where I could put it for 50 yards. But I'm going to go ahead, take those shots, and uh, show you guys what it looks like. <sighs> Turn these on. Hopefully the other one down there is recording. Just for fun, we're going to turn on the light on the scope just to make sure my battery ain't dead. I'm going to go for the heart shot on the plate. killed the plate so uno momento all right we're back from setting up the plate that shot was dead nuts so we're going to do it one more time, turn on our cameras, Two shots right next to each other. All right. In per the fashion, I will walk you guys down the 50 yards to show you the target. I love this gun. This is right up there with the Challenger, my budget Challenger. So far, so far. I've not had any issues with this particular gun. So, if you're looking for a nice gun so far, that one is meeting my recommendation standards. I have been having issues with the 58, but that's going to be a whole nother story. But I'll flip you guys over. So you check this out. This is the Tacticam. I made a little mount for it with Picatinny rail. I thought that was pretty cool. That's why I wanted to come out here and try it. But, I mean, that's both shots right there. One, two. I could probably come over just a little bit, but I think I'm just going to leave it for now. You can see the size of them slugs. Man. Wish I could find a chunk of it on the ground. But. Alright guys. I'm going to get the 50 cal out and shoot that a minute. Not going to show it on video. But I wanted to show you and talk to you about this uh, 72 cal muzzle brake. And the next time you see me. I'll be camoed up and headed to the pop-up. See you guys a little later.